I think when you first see the kind of problems we solve or we use to practice expected value, it could make you wonder why it's important to um, even learn this concept because if you're entering a, 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 a um, sweepstakes like this, it's kind of like usually more for fun than you're not really trying to calculate am I getting a good deal or a bad deal. You know if you're entering some kind of sweepstakes, it's a bad deal. And that's how they make money. But the, the reason expected value computations are so important to understand is because it is involved in so many things. For example, when you buy insurance, somebody is doing an expected value computation based on all of the th things that the insurance may have to cover multiplied by th those probabilities multiplied by the cost of covering those different things. And they use that calculation to figure out how much to charge you for insurance. So it's actually involved in quite a few uh, real life scenarios. Um, we would have done this in class, I believe, but like I've been telling you, I, I'll do these same problems uh, outside of the Zoom class in case someone was absent or in case you want to revisit it as part of your notes. We have this situation where there are 20,000 people in Naples and um, there are you, you can just send in a postcard for a chance to win these fabulous prizes. One person will get will win a $2,500 prize. Another person will get a $1,000 prize. Somebody gets a $500 prize. And then when you see the one out of 5,000, that's sort of like a tip off that there is more than one $100 prize. There must be four $100 prizes because four out of a, a probability of four out of 20,000 would equal one out of 5,000. So this probability is um, better, higher, because there are multiple $100 prizes. But in any case, if you're doing an expected value computation, the expected value, E or EV, is equal to the probability of the first thing happening, the first event, a 1 out of 20,000 probability multiplied by the uh, value of that event, $2,500 plus the probability of some, some other thing occurring, one out of 20,000 chance of winning the $1,000 prize. And you also have a one out of 20,000 chance of winning the $500 prize. And a better four times as likely, or one out of 5,000 chance of winning one of those $100 prizes. But there's also, there's also a probability of one. There's a 100% probability. There's a certain probability that you will lose some money by entering this contest because the way, that, the way the problem is worded, in order to enter the sweepstakes, you have to send a postcard, and that's going to cost you 34 cents for the postcard, for the stamp. And so there's a one, a probability of one, that you will lose... 34 cents by entering the sweepstakes. Um, and you might think, well, that's only, it's a fraction of a little, slightly more than a third of a dollar, no big deal. I, I could win $2,500, I could win $1,000, there are all these fabulous prizes. But when you start to crunch the numbers, and I'll, I'll do some simplifying to make this more easy, more easily done, I'll factor out 100 hundredths, and then 25 over 200 is the same as 1 over um, 8. And I know 1 eighth is 0.125. Uh, this is simply um, 1 20th or 0 0.05. And uh, 5, if I factor out the 100 hundredths, 5 over 200 is um, 1 over 40. 1 fourth is 0.25, so 1 40th is 0.25. 0.025 and 100, factor out 100 there, 1 50th is 0 0.02 and our final term is this negative term, I'm adding a negative 34 cents. Now, now let's talk about the meaning of each of these. This means if you send a postcard, your stake, just based on this $2,500 prize, is a 12 and a half cents. You've got a 12 and a half cents stake in that contest. On average, you will win 12 and a half cents from sending in your postcard.
I mean, nobody's going to win 12 and a half cents. One person's going to win $2,500. But when you divide that $2,500 among the 20,000 people who could win it, they each have a 12 and a half cent stake. Your stake in the $1,000 prize is 5 cents. Your stake in the $500 prize is 2 and a half cents. And your stake in one of the four $100 prizes is 2 cents. But when you add up all of those, you get um, 0.15. 0 0.20, 0 0.22. Looks like um, 22 cents is your total positive stake in the in the contest. But when you add your negative, which I think I transcribed incorrectly here, it's 34 cents. When you add the negative 34 cents, you see that your expected value for entering the contest is actually negative negative uh, 12 cents. So on average, anyone who enters the contest loses 12 cents. Most people, almost every single person loses 34 cents because they send in their postcard and they never hear again. They never hear from it again because only uh, seven people are winning any prizes at all. And some people are extremely happy. They win some huge money prize. But when you average everything out, it's a weighted average. That's what expected value is. Uh, the expected value is negative 12 cents, so not a good deal.